The Sims team is trending due to a new game called Paralyzed finally releasing its trailer after 5 years. Despite many people having concerns on whether or not how legit this game was, they actually ended up not only stating their early release access, Paralyzed will never have paid DLCs and only free expansion packs. Now this got a lot of people talking over on Twitter and many people are wondering how they're going to go about this. We are going to dive deep into a couple of Simmer's tweets a little bit later on, but if you guys aren't familiar with Paralyzed, Paralyzed is an upcoming indie dollhouse life simulation game. And and it's going to be available for PC and Mac. Now you can find out more information over on Steam where they did state that they were going to release the exact date as they got closer to the release date of 2025 but that did not stop Simmers from having concerns and comparing it to other life simulation games. One including being The Sims which is one of the biggest life simulation games that we all know and love and of course they did mention Life by You. A lot of Simmers and a lot of just Twitter users were talking about the fact that Life by You was going to be open world and will Paralyzed be the same? A lot of other users took to Twitter to state whether or not Enzoi was going to be comparable to this game and of course I have my thoughts and opinions but more on that later. Now we do know once the gameplay trailer actually released they were talking more about personalities and how you can create your para folks even showed a little bit more of interaction on what we're going to be getting regarding their socialization. They do talk about more about how they're going to have to interact as a group, jobs, careers, needs, and wants, and how you can make your para folks go to work and flourish professionally or see thoughts of paras to help them have a nice day. Now, again, a lot of people were very, very excited and saying, could we have the next big simulation game? Again, this is all just kind of based on opinion and I'm going to get into mine in just a second. Now, many people felt that this was a little bit of suspicion when they did say that there was going to be early access release with bugs and missing features that the para team was actually taking shots at the Sims. Of course, some Simmers actually responded saying, that's something you actually have to expect for an early access. The game isn't complete. It's funny and they need to remind people. The para team actually responded back to this saying, better safe than sorry. And we do know that the Sims is known for their backlash. So again, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions and do you think that they were taking shots or do you think that they were just taking and enabling things before it got to that point now another controversy that happened was the paralyzed will never have paid dlcs and it will only be free expansion packs this got so many people talking on whether or not how this is going to go and how this is going to fly because again they are an indie team and we're going to get into a couple of tweets right now starting off with acid lure saying i do wonder about the second part let's say paralyzed sells well great but if they aren't making money from DLCs, how will they support themselves in the long run? Initial sales will begin to dry up after a while. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and someone else by the name of Rocky said they need paid expansion. I think they'll backtrack on the free expansion pack thing. And honestly, again, I'm going to get into my thoughts and opinions, but I would love to know yours. We're all going to get into one more tweet and that's by the name of Jack of All Games saying this is probably something they will have to backtrack on or the game is not going to be anywhere close to the size of The Sims. Free DLC has to be funded somehow. If it's only being funded by base game sales, don't expect sim size DLC, probably stuff pack size DLC. Now we do know that Paralives is very transparent on their journey on how they are improving the game every single year. But again, many people are wondering how are they going to be able to afford this indie game being so successful in the long run. Now their Patreon does reach over 35,000 a month and that is with the current team size of 12 employees. They actually ended up putting out and stating who they are and what they're about over on not only Patreon, but you can find this out over on their websites, which I'll link down below. They do seem like a friendly team and are very nice in responding back to a lot of people who have a lot of questions. But again, there are still certain things that they have not yet said, and I don't think they're planning to until later on during early release. Now, again, with them saying that early release will be with missing bugs and glitches and features they also stated about the DLCs and I would be really curious to hear your opinions on how you guys think that they'll actually survive throughout this game we do know that Paralyze also has a roadmap but a lot of it is limited if you're not over on their patreon which has a little bit more information now as that came out a lot of people started to compare it with the size of the sims now we do know the sims is 
famous for the amount of DLCs that they have, totaling over 70 DLCs and of course 1,000 US dollars. Many people are wondering, again, now that The Sims 4 is free, they are consistently making DLC and this is how they're making their money. So what is Pair Lives going to do and how are they going to result in staying there that long? Again, there's a lot of controversy about this, but again, I do want to mention that the pair of folks team was very quick to respond to the backlash and was already prepared and ready. Despite it being also on Reddit, where many users are talking, they ended up also putting it on their Patreon saying pair lives will never have any paid DLCs, only free updates. When pair lives comes out in early access, we will be making frequent updates to release new features and content for free. Then after the early access phase and the launch of the 1.0 version of the game, we will keep making big updates and they will always remain free. The reason for this decision is that as players ourselves, we believe that purchasing a game should come with a guarantee of fleshed out experience. And they continue on to say, we aim to make Pair Lives our labor of love for years to come. Continuously coming up with exciting new stuff to experience in the game, as a small team without any shareholders to please, we believe the money we make from selling the game alone will be enough to support us and the development of free updates in the long run. We hope you liked today's reveal and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to share more sneak peeks at the game to its release. Cheers, Alex the creator and the Para Lives team. So again, they are very on board and very, you know, backing up with what they say of the fact that it's going to be free and anybody who has to say anything about this, we will back it up with what we are going to be showing. Now again, many people are going, mm, I don't know, how are they going to make this work? And of course, if there's going to be, you know, they're not making money from DLCs, will they end up charging for mods or CC. Now we do know the Sims 4 community is humongous when it comes down to mods and CCs and people have been very successful in even just living off the fact that they are mod or CC creator. So will they be implementing that into their game and will they be charging that as an extra charge? Again, there are things like Twisted Mexi's tool mod or Ravishing or even some of your favorite command CC centers that we all know and love. Again, there are so many creators out there that people are wondering will they charge the creators to be able to put mods and CCs within their game again I haven't gotten any word on that and if you guys know more information please leave it down below in the comments because again I love to know your thoughts and opinions towards this entire game now I do want to get into my thoughts and opinions when it comes down to pair lives on what what we can expect I do feel like we should not compare pair lives to any other simulation game because it is not any other simulation game. I cannot compare this to The Sims. The fact that there's going to be free DLC and the fact that just looking at the art style and the way it's going, again, I just, for me, this game feels like I'm playing it on a Nintendo Switch. Do you see what I'm saying? It's just giving cozy vibes and it's giving, you know, I'm gonna be laying down in bed and I'm on my Switch. And of course, this is not for Switch just yet. I don't know if they're planning on doing that in the future, but my personal opinion, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't scream simulation in the way that the sims does and i just again i i just i just don't see it i don't see the comparison i know a lot of people used to compare it to the sims but now actually seeing the gameplay and of course this is expected to change and this could change tremendously from now until 2025 which is the release date it's just not detailed enough for me to compare it to The Sims. And I, it, it does seem very broad. Again, this is very early on. And maybe we are going to need a little bit more DLC to kind of flush out the rest of that simulation feel. Another thing is, and I could be backtracking to what I've said in other videos, again, now that I'm seeing actual gameplay and footage and what we could actually be expecting within the game, I just feel like I can't compare it to, I no longer can compare it to The Sims. I feel like it's going to be a completely different game than The Sims, and to me, this is just not, it's, it's not comparable. And the, at the stage that they're at, again, they could be adding way more detail, but it seems very broad, and it seems very straight to the point instead of going a little bit more detailed, but I could be wrong. Again, this is very, very early stages, 
and they did say it's 2025. I mean, guys, we're in 2024. For all we know, the release date could be in December of 2025. Again, they haven't stated anything just yet. So we'll have to wait and see. But I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on whether or not you could even be comparable to The Sims or whether or not you are comparing it or how do you feel about Paralives or what's your thoughts on Paralives. And give me some unpopular opinions about Paralives and how you genuinely feel about the game. With all that being said, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Again, I am going to now be covering a little bit more simulation games other than The Sims. And if you guys have other simulation game news that you want me to talk about, please leave it down below in the comments. I'm going to get more into Life by You. I'm going to get more into Paralives. And of course, I will still continue my Sim news as well. With that all being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and we are on the road to 30k. If you did enjoy this video or learn something new, please give it a thumbs up because it truly does help on my channel. With that all being said, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!